There's 24 hours in a day, 365 days in a year. That means that assuming you'll live 72 years, you have 630,720 hours to your name at the time of your birth. If you sleep 8 hours a night, then 204,400 of those hours have already been claimed. And if you work 8 hours a day, 5 days a week, 50 weeks a year, and on a daily basis spend 2 hours cooking and eating, 30 minutes working out, and 30 minutes taking care of a pet, another 216,650 hours have gone down the drain. One more hour doing light cleaning, brushing your teeth, and other small activities, three hours on social media, and an hour surfing the internet, and in total, you will have spent 548,800 hours of your life doing basic things, almost 90% of the time you had assigned to you at birth. Sounds pretty grim, right? Well, this is the world we live in today, and whether we know it or not, we're constantly doing these types of calculations. We're constantly asking ourselves whether going out with our friends is really worth our time or if visiting our parents is worth the effort. We question if we can afford to go to the gym or if we have the time to chase our dreams because all of these things are weighed against our jobs, our daily struggle to survive, and are against their willingness to leave our comfort zones behind. And 9 out of 10 times, they lose. We're simply too caught up in the rat race to stop and appreciate the small things in life. The scent of coffee in the morning, the sun rays spilling through the window, the smell of rain after a heavy rainfall, the way the sun refracts through the dew in the morning, the unique crystalline structure of a snowflake, the sense of closeness we feel after spending quality time with someone, the lightness in our hearts after connecting with a stranger, the music made by the wind rustling the leaves, the dance of the grass during a storm, and all the other things I've already mentioned. We no longer have time to enjoy any of these things, or more accurately, we no longer make time. Instead, we choose to numb ourselves with drugs and alcohol, distract ourselves with screens, appease ourselves with food, and fool ourselves with cheap online interactions. For example, instead of hanging out with friends in the real world in real time, we prefer superficial interactions in the digital world. Instead of leveling up in the real world, we prefer to level up our characters and avatars in the made-up worlds of video games. Instead of reading books, we prefer to consume podcasts or movies. Instead of podcasts and movies, we prefer TV shows. Instead of TV shows, we prefer videos. Instead of long-form videos, we prefer short-form videos. Instead of whole foods, we prefer cheap, nutritionally lacking, or deficient foods. Instead of going outside, we prefer to stay in. Instead of living life, we consume ourselves with ways that help us escape we're addicted to easy and convenient, and it's killing us. It's sapping the meaning of life right before our very eyes. But I get it. It's hard to come home after a long day of work and still have the energy to do the things that actually fill us. But if there's one thing that I want you to take away from this video, it's that doing the things worth doing in life gives you more energy than it takes. Take working out as an example. While it requires an initial input of energy, once you pass that wall, that initial investment, the returns are huge. Paradoxically, your energy will increase, your mood will improve, your mental fog will lift, and your focus will sharpen. And since this applies to everything else that's actually worth doing in life, working towards your dreams is like that too. It may require time, energy, grit, perseverance, and most likely money to do, but if it's truly your dream, it will eventually return these things to you tenfold, as will eating healthily, spending time with friends, keeping in touch with family, doing your hobbies, and so on. But you know what won't? Always choosing comfort and distraction. This will just rob you of your time and energy, and though it comes cheaply because it's easy to do, its real price is huge. To keep things as succinct as possible, I made a list of four ways in which always choosing comfort and distraction costs us, ranked from least to most costly. Number one, like doing the things worth doing, it still requires an initial investment of time and energy, though admittedly it's usually much less. Number two, unlike doing the things worth doing, choosing comfort and distraction has a negative return on investment, because by consistently choosing them over the hard way, you will slowly start to believe and convince yourself that you're not even capable of choosing or doing the hard thing. You'll start closing the walls in on yourself and be crushed under the weight of fear, insecurity, complacency, and conformity. 
Just like how even the smallest amount of physical exertion is extremely taxing when you don't work out, consistently choosing the easy way will mean that even the smallest complication in your life will send you spiraling. And besides, you'll slowly lose all of the energy, motivation, confidence, and vision that you had before you started to sell yourself short and adopt a low self-image. Basically, if you don't use it, you lose it. Number three, in order to break your bad habits and self-image and climb out of the hole you dug yourself into, you have to build up at least the same amount of energy that you put into creating those habits, if not more realistically speaking. And although this might not seem like a lot, considering that choosing comfort and distraction usually requires a very small initial investment, it's important to remember that this has to be multiplied by the length of time and amount of times you've chosen comfort and distraction over something worth doing. If you're mathematically minded, you can think of it in terms of the following formula. Time and energy invested per act times number of times the act has been repeated over time times some multiplier, let's say 10, because it's usually much harder to undo something than it is to do it. For example, cleaning versus making a mess. Put simply, the effects are additive, so after years of digging yourself into this hole, reversing its effects becomes a much harder task than you might think. Number four opportunity cost. In other words, all the time and energy you spent choosing comfort and distraction is time and energy you'll now never be able to dedicate and direct towards the things that truly matter. It's time and energy that you willingly gave up instead of investing into your dreams, relationships, hobbies, or skills of value, all of which have at least 10x returns. Ultimately, like with money, you get what you pay for, and what initially might come cheap will actually cost you hugely over time. Meanwhile, what at first seems expensive will eventually pay for itself multiple times over. So ask yourself right now, what will you do with your remaining 10%? Because every second counts. If you like this video, then you might also like the video that I'll link in the end card. In it, I talk about how progress is just a numbers game, and success is all about the time you put in. Before you leave though, comment down below letting me know what motivates you to do hard things. I want this to be a space where we can all share with each other, so I really look forward to reading what you have to say. As for right now though, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.